Today, I will tell you why you should quit social media, how to do it, and why it will change your entire life. For most of my life, I let social media use me. My screen time was up there at like seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe even more hours a day. And it was literally because I couldn't get off, which is absolutely ridiculous to think about. Now my screen time is under two hours a day consistently, and it's simply because I just dropped down my social media time. I basically stopped letting social media control me, and it completely changed my life. The internet and social media has both good and bad features. You can connect with people around the world, you can access information faster than ever before, and with the introduction of AI services like ChatGPT, everything has become even faster. But a bad feature about this, which is causing major, major harm in society, in my opinion, is the endless scrolling on social media platforms like TikTok, Instagram, that have absolutely no end to them. And with the introduction of short form content, this has just become 10 times worse, if not more. We're now taking in so much information within minutes but we're not actually retaining any of it. Tell me 10 things you remember from scrolling yesterday and just think about how hard it really is to recall that information even though we scrolled on it for hours and hours. I remember there were times where I almost felt stuck when I was scrolling. I wanted to stop but I couldn't and I just kept going over and over and over again. See that dopamine you were getting wasn't even feeling good anymore. I was scrolling, it wasn't even feeling good and I couldn't stop. And that was kind of the cycle I was stuck in. If this happens, your days just kind of blur together. You barely get anything done. It's ridiculous, bro. Just imagine how much more you can accomplish just by reducing your screen time by half or more. Today's world, money isn't the most valuable currency anymore. It's actually your time and your attention. And you're exchanging it for nothing. The only exchange that's happening is you're giving this information to these social media platforms so they can make their platforms even more addictive. So like I said, social media, it's an addiction. There's no way to sugarcoat it. You are probably, no, you're definitely addicted to it. These social media companies like TikTok and Instagram, even YouTube, they use a technique called variable ratio reinforcement, which is the exact concept used in slot machines to keep you hooked. Imagine how disgusting it is, man. Like these people, they literally know this is addicting and they're trying to make it as addicting as possible. They're constantly doing research so they can make their platforms more and more addicting. It's mind blowing that we're falling right into the exact trap that they're laying out. The world we're in today is so go, go, go. You have a few spare minutes between your days. You open up your phone to scroll for a couple of minutes and next thing you know, hours go by. You just find that one video that kind of grabs our attention, your days are gone just like that. Now let me tell you how you can fight this addiction. So the human brain is very easy to distract and please and with our phones we essentially have little slot machines in our pockets and it's ready to use whenever we want. So how should we stop this addiction? I think it's best for me to be blunt here and that is to just go cold turkey and delete these applications off your phone. For me my most used apps were TikTok and Instagram. For TikTok I just got rid of it. I deleted it right away and I stop myself from wanting to re-download it because you're going to get those urges from time to time. Just don't do it. Keep it deleted. Keep it off your phone. For Instagram, I didn't delete it, but I had a little experiment with myself. I completely shut off the notifications and I wanted to see if I could practice controlled indulgence. But the deal I had with myself was that if I was on Instagram even once, even one day for more than 30 minutes, I was going to completely delete that off my phone as well. Since I've done this, so far, I've stayed true to that. I've been on Instagram for an average of less than 20 minutes or less. If you're someone that you don't think you could stay accountable to yourself the same way, delete it off your phone. That was how I felt with TikTok. I knew if it was on my phone, I wouldn't control myself. I just had to get rid of it. When it came to other social medias like Snapchat, Facebook, Reddit, I was already not really on these applications too much. But Twitter, for instance, is another app that I use quite a bit. And the difference here, though, is the people I follow on Twitter are more educational. So the content I'm consuming from it is better. And that's kind of how I see it, which is why I didn't get rid of it. But if there was a point where I noticed that my Twitter usage was really high up, I'd get rid of that too. So yes, the first tip I can give you is just to delete these apps, go cold turkey. And when you do this, stop using other apps to kind of fill in that void. For me, I noticed I went on YouTube a lot. I started going through YouTube Reels suddenly. Don't do that. If that happens to you, delete YouTube as well. Like get rid of any app that's a distraction for you. There's obviously a difference in content that you could consume with apps like YouTube. It could be more educational, but I find for the most part, this is also pretty mindless content. 
It's very like in your face. It keeps coming and coming. So if it's productive content, feel free to keep it. But if it's not, and you know yourself, get rid of it. So this leads into my second piece of advice, which is to start filling your feed with more educational and productive content. It also includes content that you're genuinely passionate about and not passionate like entertainment, but passionate such as you can make money off of this if you wanted to and you want to start a business, you're passionate about this. Keep that type of content. So an example could be if you want to be a YouTuber, the content you're consuming is filled with how to start a channel, how to be successful at it. If you want to start a business, your feed should be filled with how to start a successful business, how to run a successful business, especially how it relates to your specific niche. Have a lot of content related to that on there. What this will do is that your scrolling ends up being less mindless, but it also you'll spend less time on these applications as a result of it. And this is because the information is beneficial, but it's also not as variable as it could be otherwise. Going back to the slots machine example, when there's more variable in your content that you're consuming, you're more likely to scroll for longer. One second you're seeing your celebrity crush, the next you're seeing something very boring that doesn't really interest you. And now the third thing you're seeing a post from one of your favorite creators. So this variability keeps you scrolling more and more. And that's why slot machines, for instance, are so addictive. The same concept applies to social media. If you have your feed filled with this very productive and informational content, you're going to use it less simply because there's less variability in it and there's more productivity involved. As an example for YouTube, this is what I did. Instead of just deleting it off my phone, I ended up subscribing to channels that had more educational content. I started viewing that content more and my feed that's exactly what it's filled with and it's the only content that i consume the final tip i have to quit social media is to genuinely fill your schedule up as much as you possibly can you spend 10 hours a day or more or anywhere close to that bro get a job or something like straight up there's so much more useful things you can do with your time and you should utilize start a business and actually run it start side projects anything you're procrastinating start it just do it Make yourself so much busier than you already are that even if you wanted to scroll and you have these urges, you simply just don't have the time to do it just because you have so much more things to be accountable for. There are so many people in school that complain about having poor grades or not having enough time to study and get things done. But if they simply just cut their social media time in half or more, imagine how much time they could have. If your screen time is something like six or eight hours or more, there's so much more you can do. You could study, you could have a job, Bro, if that was the case, you'd be less broke and you'd have better grades just by simply reducing your screen time. So stop complaining about these things when your screen time is so high and actually get to work and get things done in your life. You're clearly not where you want to be. Get things done. You really don't have an excuse if your screen time is high, man. Say you even cut it down by 30 minutes and you put that 30 minutes into starting up a business. In a year, that's something crazy like 180 hours or more contributed to your business. Currently, you're at zero, and that's simply because you're not reducing your social media and your screen time. You should be better. You generally could be better, and you should be. So how has controlling my social media consumption changed my life? Man, where do I begin? So first of all, I'm a student. I'm in grad school. And the first thing I noticed right away, almost immediately, was my grades went up. It felt like almost overnight, I became a straight-A student. It used to be something I genuinely used to struggle with. And I knew it wasn't because I was stupid, but it was because I wasn't putting in the amount of time that I should be. Because I had so much time in the day, I started filling it with more productive things like starting up a business, I started up a charitable organization, uh, I recently started this YouTube thing, I started writing more and I finally got a few publications under my belt. I have one officially published and two pending, which will soon be published. All of this would have been so much more far in between, but I ended up accomplishing it in only the last year. I didn't even completely get off social media. I just reduced it significantly, but imagine if I completely got off of it. And this is something you can do. Imagine if you completely stopped using it, how much more productive you could be, how much more you would accomplish. There's so much time in the day and you don't even realize it when you're mindlessly scrolling. And finally, man, it just improves your mood and your overall well-being. You're just much more present just in general. I found myself to be much more happier. Little things would excite me. Getting five views on a YouTube video, this genuinely excited me. If I'm with my friends, just like leading up to it, going to see them, that excites me too. And it's not like it didn't excite me before, but I have, I'm almost ecstatic when these things happen now. I'm showing the people around me so much more love. I'm much more present. 
life genuinely completely changed for me. It's contagious, man. It really is. You know how sometimes you look back on yourself three years ago and you almost cringe a little bit because you're like, wow, like I was such a different person then compared to now. I'm now getting that feeling almost every three months. And that's how fast I've noticed my growth has been ever since. As I go through this, I'm trying to see if reducing my social media time even more sees even more benefits or if it eventually will plateau. So far, I haven't noticed that, but I've been doing this experiment with myself and I will let you guys know if I do plateau at a certain point and what my results are. But in the meantime, you guys all need to start this today too. The results are there. I can speak from experience and man, delete those apps and just start doing it. And man, I'm thinking there's so many more benefits which I didn't even list yet. My drive and motivation to be better has went up significantly. Like I'm looking forward to working more. And as a result, I'm accomplishing more. I went from working out three to four days on average to five to six days on average. So my workout progress and my physique progress has been much faster as well. I'm stronger in my mental well-being and my faith and I'm making progress in these faster. I'm actually making an effort to make progress in these aspects of my life. Whereas before I wasn't because all of a sudden you have so much time and you want to fill it up with more things. So as a result, I'm looking better. I'm feeling better. Man, why wouldn't you want to do this? Don't let these social media companies take away the most valuable asset you have of time and attention. Utilize this for yourself so that you can grow, not these social media companies. 